Agenda is public input. Okay. If there are any members of the public here, uh, you are welcome to come up and speak. Please remember to keep your comments limited to two minutes. Oh, I thought you said no. No, that's what happens. Oh no. And if you would, for the record, just just state your name and address. I certainly will. Thank you, sir. James Kaspar, it's K A S P A R. Address is 8021 Coy, K O O Y Drive, Munster. Um, I don't know how I came to do this, but I was looking over the agenda and I found uh, down here the advertising policy 4E. And I looked at the attachment, which was you know, the attachment online, which was the policy, the proposed policy. And item two, in part, I found it says you know, the town of Munster Park and Recreation Department promotes accessibility. Good. Excellence. Good. Optimal experience. Good. Unity through diversity. Good. Wholesomeness. Good. And accountability. Good. Then I came down to item four. The town of Munster Park and Recreation Department, I had to chop myself a little bit for one thing, I was copying it by hand. Um, is a municipal department and goes on to say does not support any one political party or viewpoint. Okay. And then the immediate next sentence is therefore, Munster Parks and Recreation Department will not accept any political advertising of any kind. And that stopped me cold. Because for one thing, there's no definition of what political advertising is. Number two, that strikes me as getting kind of close to unconstitutional. No, I'm not an attorney, but in advance, you're just saying we're not going to accept that. Now, there are plenty of other points going through the policy where you have the right to say, wait, wait, wait a minute. This one doesn't look like it's a great taste. Let's talk to people. We have a right not to accept things. So it seems to me everything that you're trying to do, you're covered somewhere down in items five onward. But just to flat out say we're not accepting any political advertising, you don't even define it. I would ask you to please go back and, and, and restudy, you know, what you're trying to say versus what well, that reads. Thank you. And with that, I have to skip off to another meeting. Yeah. Thank, Thank you sir. very much for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Uh, take, your, take care of yourself. What I saw on the latest map that I use at home is a uh, uh, windshield factor of minus 44 on like Friday morning or something like oh, that. So terrible. watch it. Thank you. Um, thank you, sir. Um, just to comment on that, I believe the Parks Department does have a standard policy. Uh, I believe Mark, uh, our investor might be able to comment on that further, but we do have a, a policy, sir, just uh, I'm asleep, so. Um, but I'll just state for the record, the Parks Department is a bipartisan board. It's appointed uh, bipartisan to Democrats to Republican and a school board uh, liaison is the is, uh, a voting member as well. So just for the record, that is a bipartisan uh, division or group, I should say. And um, and yeah, we, we like to keep it that way. So I would fully support keeping that, that rule. Um, I don't believe that uh, our department in particular has any Real foothold in politics, so I would I would prefer to keep it. That's just my comment. Thank you, Wendy. You have to keep it that way. It's state code. State code too. Yeah. Thanks, Wendy. You're welcome. Well, that pretty much solves it. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> and he left, so he didn't get to hear that. You can play it back and record it. That's <laughs> true. I'm speaking not now as a town council member, but as a former park board member, served on this board for 20 years. When I came onto the board a number of years ago, Dave Servant was a 
you could almost say that the dean of the uh, park board and that he had been around for a long time and had served several sort of terms before that. When I left the park board, an elder now. <laughs> <laughs> when I left the board, the servant was still on the board. And uh, as new people came on the board, he was one people could ask, you know, what's the precedent for this and for that. And uh, it's been a, a source of stability for this board. And uh, I congratulate Dave for the number of years he's put up with the board and the board members. I think four or five different directors uh, that uh, you know, we have to bring up to speed. And uh, hope this one, hope this director stays around for a long time. Uh, but anyway, congratulations, Dave, and uh, enjoy your time off. I have no idea what you're going to do on Tuesday. Late Tuesday. I'm going to listen to the recording. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. I really do. And I, I remember all those years back uh, when it was me and Neil and Sid. I mean, Sid lost me. It was great. Thank you. Uh, are there any other public uh, comments? Uh, all right, we're going to close the public input portion and move on to administrative matters. Uh, first item on the agenda is the approval of the park board minutes. Everything was sent to me. So, <laughs> there's been no motion, sir. I'll motion to approve. I'll motion to approve. We have a motion. <laughs> Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Passes. Moving on to item E, confirmation of vouchers. Are there any questions? Yeah, I had a question I had to ask on uh, 2212B. There's a uh, $100,000. Something about, yeah, yeah. What is it? That is to continue operations for the help them with their expenses. That's the shortfall, if I remember correctly. That's, right? that's the shortfall. That's our financial commitment support. You'll you'll actually probably see another one. Well, you won't be. Um, there will be another one here in the new year. We go short with the trip of the new year. This is also the effect of bank of all not being in place. All right. The lack of revenue that will come because of that. Okay. That's your only question. Yeah. Any other questions? Looks good to me. I move the approval about Second. The movement seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. On to the December board report. You have a written report from us. Uh, I think just in uh, a couple of things to highlight. The uh, we're going after a grant that would lend itself. The there's a inflation reduction act federally that uh, they caught and have hopefully matched up with. It's just about time to replace the generator out at the landfill. So that's something that we're uh, going after. The council has approved an agreement with Baker Tilly to research and that the pursuit of that uh, federal renewable energy tax credit, um, which would be a uh, uh, significant for us if, if uh, able to be applied. Um, the Civic Foundation, the Munster Civic Foundation, has committed to our Monday Civic Concert Series again. Uh, Actually, they're going to even expand it. So we'll have one every single Monday in June, July, and August uh, this summer out of the stage. Um, and July 3rd happens to be one of the Mondays, so we have to see every single one. They also approved, additionally, came back after the initial approval for some additional funds to bring the company back as well. So one of the Mondays will also be the symphony uh, on one of the nights of that one. And the Winter Spring brochure is out. Uh, it's available online, copies in the office. Uh, the craft show went really well after a three year hiatus. We had 120 vendors. Everything um, was really pretty positive over there. We we're thankful that we were able to jump back in. Jill and staff did a great job with that. Um, the Winter Fest, which we did the week after the Light the Night celebration here at Town Hall for the first time, we had about 400 people at, so that was really kind of neat to see. And everything else kind of just standard um, upkeep and uh, this time of year, you know, normal day-to-day -day business, getting ready and maintaining things as I'm doing slower things. So. I have to ask, the Keene Asian Holiday Park is it's the highest registration. The highest, are we also moved out there? They've been fine for this month. That's not to say that I think they're going to flare up again in January. 
I've heard it's been pretty good. Laura's been there through the entire every Thursday meeting. Though she sits there, and that's her. She's super busy. I know that's where I'm going to move. <laughs> 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 So we have now a volunteer for the teenager. <laughs> Come on, the ball. Call the bingo numbers. Call the numbers. Thank you. Uh, were there any questions on the board report? Um, we're going to move to section four items for discussion. The first item on the agenda is CSK Architects Agreement. I put that on the agenda, hoping that we get a little bit further along with CSK. Uh, the, their main owner has been on vacation and I didn't get the response from him in time, so we'll take that. Uh, I, I would hope to have that on there with the team agreement at this point. Uh, I also would want uh, Attorney Wickland to be able to do that in advance of bringing the Tables. Um, Mr. Wickland, you have item B is the resolution 2022-03. Salary and wages. I don't see any changes on that. The mind, the only ones that we have are a very end, and this is something that Public Works wanted was their seasonal part timers. It's the uh, park. Uh, we matched our park maintenance at 1417. That's what Public Works did with theirs that the council approved. So those three at the bottom, uh, we did change that by a dollar. We, we raised that range a dollar per hour on both. So it was 13, 16, it's gone now 14, 17. And we want to be consistent with that. So, with that, we bring it to you with a recommendation uh, of seeking your approval of that schedule. Motion to approve resolution 2022 03. A second. Did we move and seconded. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Uh, I'm C is fiber optics recommendations. We've talked about Good. this uh, a few times before. This is to bring uh, a consistent signal to community park and bringing in uh, tapping into the fiber line that's the backbone that's along Calumet Avenue on the on the west side of Calumet Avenue. Uh, we sought quotes. This was the result of a second uh, request for proposals. We only ended up getting one proposal, which was from Midwestern Electric, um, and uh, it is. A recommendation from staff to that they'll be able to do this project in our time frame that we've asked for, uh, and we're recommending awarding this to them at a cost of eighty-one thousand four hundred dollars to bring the fiber optics to Community Park. This is something that was in the bond issue that was done just this past fall. Um, and it's within that budgeted figure to cover that cost. I assume these are buried lines. These are buried lines. Yes, they'll be boring all the way. From Calumet to each, except for where there's a, a connection point where they split it and go in different directions. But even those, those will be very, those will be the big gray boxes that you'll see a lot of times for fiber optics or electrical signals that flush at the top. Midwestern's done a lot of work for us in the past, uh, even on projects or projects we have done more than they could do. And they're the main ones who, when there's an issue with like license plate reading cameras throughout town, that he takes care of them for us. So I mean that they're very familiar with these fiber lines. They're also the main one who deals with that same fiber line for portions of it that pertains to the school as well as the community hospital, which is also all three of those those groups are part of that same fiber main line. Motion to Detected. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 2022 04. This is amending Schedule A with the charges. I mentioned earlier with a seasonal brochure, that means we got to bring you the current fees and charges. That's what this includes. So, all those various new fees, learning programs, activities that we have are all summarized in here um, and uh, bringing this to you for your consideration. Motion to approve 2022-04. The, the dog parks are uh, uh, parking as well, right? Yes, they get a parking pass as part of their membership. I'll second. That's also what he's going to do in his free time. <laughs> okay, move the dog monitoring. All in favor? Aye. 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 Advertising policy. I have uh, put together, this is something that we've come across. We obviously do a lot of 
several advertising opportunities throughout the year, whether it's like brochure, whether it's banners, like school, at the dog park, uh, various events, and so forth like that. Um, and it was kind of noticed that we don't have a policy and uh, any kind of guidelines there. We've never had an issue, don't want an issue. So bring through this together. This is something that we uh, borrowed from another municipality and uh, kind of stylized for us here in town. And I think it just would be a best practice for us to have one of these in place. So we're recommending this, uh, the approval of this advertising policy as presented and, or as amended if you want to. Was it reviewed by other council? Alternatives. This was reviewed by Attorney Wickham. It was not reviewed by the town council. You said it was not by the town council, but Attorney Wickham did review it. Attorney Wickham? Yes. So it's a compliance with state law. Did they sign a contract or anything like that? I mean, they do. And does it provide for a, you know, identification in the event they violate a copyright or a we 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 don't. This covers that now. Though there's a few wording in here that that brings that up. Yeah, they're not saying this really. So no, this would be as part of that. This would be noted so in what raises through the. This would be noted in what we send out and refer to and available upon request. I mean, we wouldn't print this for every. Yeah, but they're, they're not up. they're not signing it or acknowledging it. It should probably be an attachment to whatever they sign and have them sign off on it. Just say that this is incorporated. And they with the terms of the attached of the policy. policy. Yeah. yeah, we can do that. Great. So I mean, you can you can put something out there that violates someone's copyright. We're as responsible as anybody else for that. So. And that's the worry. This was something that I, I learned at a recent conference that I was at. Yeah. Someone had it happen to them, and this is that's where it's kind of sparked from. So. Okay. But I mean, to make it binding, they ought to you know, sign something and acknowledge it. We do a we do a sheet that when people choose, you know, let's say uh, a quarter page ad in our brochure, we can add this to that. C forty three. There's no C. That was eleven. Eleven. So we can agree that we're going to put some type of signature. Well, on the on the form that they sign, there this there'll be something on it that says, uh, you know, the advertising policy is attached or is they read it acknowledged. Yeah, incorporated yeah, here in the, as part of our agreement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, we can do this. I think more than as the copyright point, we're seeking your approval of the policy itself, and then that's just more of an implementation aspect. I think we the signature side. Understood. So you want a motion? I move we approve the advertising policy. I have a second. So move the second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Vehicle replacement. This yes. is 2012. This is a recommendation just part of our uh, regular um, replacement schedule for vehicles. We uh, just got a quote that the town mechanic helped us with. They saw three different uh, proposals and are, we're recommending the uh, uh, purchase of a 2023 Ford F550 from Bozak Ford at a cost of $101,746. This would replace our 2012 same one ton Ford F550. And that would be traded in as part of this. Area. It's an expensive truck. I know. I had no idea. Does it come with two keys? <laughs> it does. You'll notice the actual on the second page, which gets into more of the specifics of it, the, the upfit of taking the chassis and making it into a dump truck is more expensive than okay, the not going to wait if we're actually going to do it at 150. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if you see the 85,000 is going to come from the uh, trade. That will come from the 2021 the geo bond issue, and then the balance will come from balance. Balance. We have some other uh, existing park balance. That's a public balance. All right. So we've right. met our budgetary concerns. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Any other questions? A motion to approve that purchase for David. <laughs> I'll second it. <laughs> it's like the price is right, they're going to come out. <laughs> so move to second it all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Item G 
the fairway mower replacement. This is another uh, equipment purchase. Um, this is another fairway mower. We bought one a few years ago, and it's time for another replacement uh, based on our replacement schedule to um, uh, get another one. This is, has been budgeted for in the current, uh, this year's actual town geo bond. And uh, we were able to get this proposal to us quickly. And we had budgeted 75,000 for that in that bond issue and had a uh, price come in at $72,594.42 which we are recommending the purchase of from Rebels Turf and Tractor. This is something uh, that did get a little bit better pricing with um, Troom or Indigo getting it through uh, because of their purchasing power. So that, that did help us a little bit, even, even less expensive than the source oil programs that we use at other times. Under budget. Yep. See that? But uh, motion to purchase. There we Thank you. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. H2023 Z Track mower purchase. Same thing. Same thing, just a more equipment purchase. I, I do want to point out so I, I broke down the table that's in your memo a little differently. We actually approved last year purchasing two. They never fulfilled that. They sent us a letter that said we can't fulfill that because we're no longer building 2022. They just informed us that like two or three weeks ago. Um, but they're already building 2023. And of course, there's a price adjustment for the 2023. So, um, so we're actually seeking the two. There, there's a price and a breakdown in there for trading in uh, equipment for the purchase of the two that we were going to buy last earlier this year, I think, in 2022. And this also includes the purchase of two from the, the bond that we just recently closed on. So for the, the total purchase and trading in of all the equipment, it's it's a total cost of $20,121.76 for those four um, new machines. We actually are trading in five different machines. There's one extra that we have that we were no longer using. So we included that as a trade in on the first two that we did. Uh, this was budgeted for 2021 though, right? Like, is that this was budgeted for two different times. The 2021 bond issue will cover the purchase the first two, and then the next two is out of the 2022 bond. Okay, just clarify. Yep. Buy another motor. Why not? Why not? I'll make a motion to uh, approve the 2023 C track motor purchase. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, we have. The 2023 meeting schedule. <clears throat> well, I have some thoughts on that. I, yeah, I'm taking a, <laughs> the board should probably meet every Tuesday. You want to make them earlier? <laughs> you want to make them earlier? <laughs> <later? laughs> you want to bring back the lunch? Five. Yeah, five. <laughs> every other. The meet, the lunch meetings were not there a lot. I got to be honest, I'm kind of missing them. I do. Give me something to do. And bring back the lunch ones. He can, 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 can cater for us. Stay. <laughs> He'll be busy calling bingo <laughs> and monitoring the dog for F50. We have adopted or? Yes. Okay, well, then I make a motion that we adopt the 2023 meeting schedule. Second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, as far as elections, we go back to January, right? Yeah. yeah, first meeting. Yeah, first meeting. So we should call it. There's no one left. I, I'm no longer after this. Yeah, I'm the next presidential, presidential race. Race. Well, uh, I It is I who must be the problem. I'm staying. So do we have to just Or do we do it like that? Uh, uh, last oh, item on the this agenda. Is the this, is the, this is the oh, resolution 2022-25, Mr. Hines uh, Mark, if you'd like to uh, present that. Shocking. It surprised me. Yeah. <laughs> You're actually talking me at your back. Can you let me know everybody does train. So for the record, I'll, I'll read this into uh, the minutes. We are the Board of Parks and Recreation of the Town of Munster, resolution number 2022-05, a resolution honoring board member David Servin, whereas the Town of Munster, Indiana Board of Parks and Recreation Park Board was formed in 1966 to administer parks and recreation benefits for the community. And whereas David Servin served 
32 years, which is the longest tenure of any member of the Munster Park Board during its 56 years of existence. And whereas David Serve has been part of a board which provides and maintains quality parks, facilities, open natural space, programs, and services which enhance the physical, social, and emotional well being of the citizens of Munster and Whereas David Servant is a part of numerous improvements to enhance the quality of life in the community by sharing his time and talent for providing excellent parks and recreational opportunities for the Munster community. And whereas the town of Munster Parks and Recreation Department wishes to honor David Servant by dedicating hole number one on the Centennial Park Golf Course in his honor. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Park Board of Parks and Recreation of the town of Munster in the end dedicates Centennial Park Golf Course hole number one to honor David Servant. Resolved and adopted this 20th day of December 2022. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, there is no lifetime membership. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. Thank you. I would ask a formal uh, uh, approval of that resolution. <laughs> I'm going to say no, just because I'm going to be the no when you hang that up in your house. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I would just like to say just to, uh, thank you for all of your service. Uh, I, I've been on this board for a, a fraction of the amount of time that you have been on this board and, and learned a lot from you, honestly. Um, one of the things that I truly enjoy about this board and, and something that the gentleman, first gentleman said that uh, politics, you know, we're, we're living in a time where politics can be very divisive, very, uh, it's not a good topic. Uh, this board in particular is bipartisan. Um, and there are two and two. And I think that this board is a good reflection of how everybody can be on completely different spectrums of a, of a political belief, but can still personally respect each other and, and get along and, and have a common goal. And that goal is just to be uh, good for the town. So yeah. I, I want to say thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And I just want to say for the record one, one more time that you started. <laughs> In 1991, yeah. which was the same year that I graduated from high school. <laughs> so, wow. I graduated first. See, just, I just want to re remind you when I first started here, my first, <laughs> meeting, my first meeting was an appeal hearing for a dog that got kicked out of the dog park. And I leaned over and was this what I'm supposed to expect the rest of the way? So, actually, I was actually thinking, I go, you have to have seen some cool things uh, along the way. Of all, I mean, all different. Park, the, you know, Centennial is a skate park at the baseball diamonds at the White Oak. And I mean, I'm sure you could, you've got some stories to tell, but for me, I, my first story is I get appealed for a dog park. So uh, I'll miss uh, making fun of you and you making fun of me, and I'm going to miss Ron as well. And I mean, it's just, about Ron. this is going to be, um, and, and now I'm the elder statesman, so I really, I've been for myself and for everyone else. But thank you very much for your time and your. Uh, and your knowledge. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, thank you all very much. It's been a pleasure with you guys and on all the all the people that have been before you, which I didn't realize it was 32 years ago. I was asked whether you know you want to consider it yet. But it's been um, you know the there's two things that make a town uh, good. There's many things, but the two most important things are parks and schools. Mm -hmm. yeah, this town's got them both. And, the reason we do is because of people like Mark and Janice, Jill and Kevin, and everybody else that has participated is on staff now and has been the staff that uh, is our predecessor. And I remember in the early days uh, when we started, the, the people you saw the most were Little League and girls softball and battles that went on for the girls' exercise. Uh, those were the battles in the beginning that were just uh, every time I saw uh, so that was the girls softball also and uh, so I wondered why that, that is a very uh, easy process now but it's been great it really has and I, you know, I, I always look forward to it and, uh, so it was a you know, time goes by fast I think it's but thank you. This is a great honor. Uh, that's that's not the hardest hole on the course either. So I'll enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> but there'll be extra special pressure that it's yours that you got. Well, that's well true. Well, let's see. I get a mulligan on that hole. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> breakfast call for sure. But not, not that for sure. Uh, do we have a motion? Thank you. Okay. To, to approve. To approve. Motion. Uh, motion to approve the resolution. Do I second your motion? I don't think it's true. All right. I'll second your motion. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. It's been a pleasure, Dave. Okay. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Hey, you know, Ron's not here either, but he, should, he needs a kudo to over too. too. Yes, and yes. Ron, Ron, Ron uh, was on the park board, then he went and uh, helped bail out the schools and uh, was our liaison. So he's put in a lot of time as well on this board, and I'll, I'll miss him too. But, and the other thing about this board that I really love is you're right about the politics. You know, we're on different sides of the political spectrum, but we all get along and our. our our folks are, which very rarely do that, are we not unanimous? But they're always based on what's right for the town. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with the fact that people are going to block it or vote against something just because yeah. the other side wants it. But um, it's kind of a terrible thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a bad <laughs> sign. Can, can we put a, a tree on, on Dave's hole in honor of Ron? <laughs> oh, where's Ron? I was talking about Ron. Yeah. <laughs> but but the, other, right. well, the other thing, notes, you know, <laughs> the other thing I was going to say is, aside from the you know the political thing or the community thing, is that everybody's got a sense of humor. You know, we we are able to laugh. Yes. And that's what's okay, from, from 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 day one. Uh, we we've all got a sense of humor about it because you can't take everything so seriously. So that's been a, a pleasure as well. So uh, I'll see you guys around. Joe, I'll see you. Walking around with the park. <laughs> I want to put I want to put a tree on on hole number one in honor of Ron. I will pay for it. Yes, it's right right Ron is not right in the middle. Of uh, I want to put it on the hole on the golf course. So unfortunately, the tree cannot be on top of. That's true. Yeah. Can we put it next to the new pro shop? Might be able to get. Oh, we can see something. There you go. Pretty because that way you can see Ron and Dave, and then I can. How about in the dark part? My Dave and <laughs> my <laughs> <laughs> No, because someone something wants to play to too muddy and they're not <laughs> something to pee on. Yes. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> yeah, we better adjourn this before it gets too ugly. Um, with that, I will take a motion to adjourn. Motion, motion to adjourn. Second. There you go. All in favor. Aye. 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 Pass. <laughs>